So you are telling me that in an economy where everybody can get 100,000 USD for doing virtually no work and almost everything that sells for USD is sold out from Peacekeeper, that even then, the 45 ACP ammo, all the UMP ammo, and the UMP itself, no one even touched it? There's 191,000 more UMPs for sale? Is that how underrated this gun is? That's how much y'all don't like it? Let me show you what you're missing. All right, so the mystery gun in question is the UMP-45 submachine gun. I believe that this thing does not get the love that it deserves. So let's first talk about how I like to build my ump. And I also wanna show off some gameplay so you guys can see how cool it is, especially if you've never gotten the chance to use it yourself. But first let's, like I said, hop into the build and there's really not much to go over here. So the first thing you do is head on over to Peacekeeper to pick up the UMP. And now I like to cite these first with the high profile mount for Trigicon RMR. And then of course you guessed it on top of that, the Trigicon RMR. It's a simple little red dot. I love the way it looks. And and I especially love the way it handles on this gun in particular. After the sight, we head on down here to the pistol grip. I like to put on the RK2 because this gun has plenty of ergonomics, but what it needs help with is recoil. So this does the job and takes that recoil down as much as it can go. And then we hop on over to this side of the gun or this side, it doesn't really matter. These rails come stock as well as the pistol grip rail. But then I like to throw on the Surefire XC1 tactical flashlight. It's my favorite flashlight. I put it on almost every gun just so in close combat, which this gun excels at you have the ability to blind your opponent and believe it or not that is the build there's really not much you can do to the ump right now in terms of modifications which is what has me and so many other ump lovers up in arms but even with what we can do to it right now it's still a formidable gun this build sits at about 48 ergonomics which is pretty good for not having a grip that handles ergo and it sits at 57 vertical recoil so we're gonna hop on over to the ballistics page on the escape from tarkov wiki and talk for a moment about the ammo that the ump uses so it uses the 45 acp ammo and we have a couple of options for what we can do here first if you want to go full straight on high armor pen you have the 45 ap i like to run the ap often because i like the high armor pen ammo you know i go for the head often and as far as penetrating armor goes it does pretty well up to a class four after that it gets a little sketchy but to be honest with you most people in the game only run up to a class four helmet and or face shield you will okay Occasionally run into Altins, but you got to take what you can get when you're using submachine guns. Let's be honest. Now, if you're not a fan of shooting at armor and you never want to have to worry about that at all, you can also use the 45 rip rounds. They do a whopping 127 damage per bullet, 100% fragmentation chance for extra damage, and they also have a good chance at causing light and heavy bleeds. Now, of course, they don't go through any armor, but you'll be aiming at legs, arms, anything exposed, any exposed flesh, any body parts that you can hit. Also, if you want to get a little frisky i have been killed by hydra shock before now i don't exactly know too much about this ammo because i don't use it often but i have actually been killed through a hex grid with the hydra shock they just shot me through the hex grid it did like crazy amounts of damage to my armor and then eventually penned through it and killed me and i honestly didn't know what happened i was surprised so this hydra shock may be like a sleeper bullet but honestly the ap and the rip are great both rounds i definitely recommend in the video that i'm gonna throw up on the screen i will be using the 40 AP. Like I said, that's just more of my style, but I also do really enjoy a good rip round. And I definitely recommend leg meta if you guys have never tried it out using high flesh damage ammo, going for limbs. It's a lot of fun and it really, well, that's just it. It's a lot of fun. You'd be surprised at what you can take down. Heavy, high armor wearing players, you know, slicks, altons, like crazy gear. Doesn't matter at all because you go for the flesh and they just crumble down. But yeah, like I said, 45 AP in this video. And I, uh, to be honest with you, I really wanted to make this video for one purpose, and it's a bit ambitious, but I have to shoot my shot. I have to try. I have a buddy named Krayson. He feels just as strongly about the ump as I do, and we both strongly believe that it should get more love in this game. And now what I really, really want more than anything is eventually for us to get more attachments for the UMP. I think it would be fantastic if 
we could even just change out the muzzle, maybe add a suppressor of some sort. I feel like that would up the usability of this gun tenfold, even with just a simple suppressor. It would be a really awesome submachine gun, really great for close quarters, just super fun, super underrated. So BSG, please do us all a favor and add in some more attachments for the UMP. Eventually, it doesn't have to be soon, take your time, but just know that people do love the ump we are a strong community of ump lovers and we'd love to see this gun get some more modifications in the future but anyway i guess there's not much more to be said i just wanted to make this one for all my ump lovers and i wanted to make this a message to bsg to please give us more attachments in the future comment down below if you guys have used the ump before and let me know how much you love it share it with the world also guys give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it thumbs down if you did not and subscribe to the channel because we put out a ton of tarkov content all the time also know that i am a partner twitch streamer over at twitch.tv slash finest xi and if you guys want to stop by sometime i'd love to meet you but i guess we're done here that being said i hope you guys have a wonderful day and i'll see you in the next one